Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. What's going on, Heartland? Football season is finally here. High school has to wait another week, but college football getting started today. You might be wondering why we're out here at Cape Central High School. That's because SEMO football got their first practice of the year underway right here at the home of the Tigers. Because of the rain a little bit earlier today, they had to move from their normal practice facility over at Rosengarten. Normally, they'd go over to Hawk Stadium, but because of some of the construction that's wrapping up to get ready for that home opener for SEMO in a couple weeks, they had to move it to a different facility, and that landed them right here at Cape Central. So here we go. Some awesome shots of day one for the Red Hawks. A lot of noise being made about this program. Tab number one in the Big South OVC preseason polls, and for good reason. A number of returners, big names like Geno Hess, Lawrence Johnson, Ryan Flournoy, all deciding to come back for their final year of eligibility. Coach Took said it might be one of the best rosters he's ever had. Along with that, coming some expectations and kind of a different approach for SEMO. Normally, they're kind of fighting from the back this time. They're leading from the front, but as Coach Took talked about a little bit earlier, the leadership on this team is some of the best, and he knows that he's confident in this group. We have as good a leadership as we ever had, but that's why I want to make sure they understand. It's one thing to know how to lead, it, but it's a whole other thing to actually do the hard work of leading. So we'll know. We spent a lot of time on this, and we'll know what to do. At the end of the day, though, will we have the courage to make the decisions to lead. Uh, we'll catch up with more of the SEMO players led. coming up tonight on Heartland Sports at 10. Elsewhere around the Heartland, another college football team, SIU, getting their first practice underway as well. A lot of the talk right now about the new defensive coordinator, Antonio James, having to take over just a day before the Saluki started training camp because DJ Vokalek resigned. But regardless, the Salukis have an edge and something to prove this year after leading in the fourth quarter in their last 10 games of last season, but going 5-5 five and five in those games. We'll hear from the Salukis tonight about what they're doing to come into this season. All the excitement around the heartland for football season coming back. Make sure you're with us tonight when we're going to bring you all of that. For now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.